Alright, welcome, Magical Space Friends. This is Wolfman, and this is Let's Teach Aora 4X. So, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to try and do a basic tutorial, just how to get started in the game, start, starting from a conventional start. I'm going to go as slow as I can. I'm going to explain why I do what I do, just so that people can get into the game easier. Aora is a very difficult game to learn, so... I figure I better do my part. Um, also, I do kind of feel bad, because I had to cancel the uh, Star Kingdom of Glorious series. So, anyway, also, I'm going to be toning down the language and the politics, just so I don't um, scare people into, into a cl uh, crying closet before they can learn the game. So, um, yeah, call me out on that if I do if I do start ranting. And also, Project Moonbase has a much higher priority right now, but I do want to get at least the occasional episode of this out. So, let's get started. Uh, okay, I already got the game started. Am I recording? I am recording. Always got to check that. You know, I do get a little paranoid. So we click on this button here. We want to go for a new game. Start of systems. Uh, keep it small. 400 should be plenty. Aren't get too, aren't gonna get too excited. Gonna go with uh, basic witches. Yes, this. If you're not sure what something is, just leave it now. Uh, difficulty. I'm gonna go to 120 just in case I do keep going. Leave 100. There's, you can have a lot of fun if you just take down the research speed. That slows the game in a lot, though. That, that, that. Re ruin. Sometimes I jack that up if I get more, ex want more excitement. That looks good. No star systems. I like to take this off. If you're a science nerd, you might want to leave it, leave it on. But I like to have um, like code names for systems. Orbital motion. Take asteroids off. Planets, moons. I'll leave that on for now. Uh, they can slow the game down later on. Asteroids, I don't really see the point of just it just using up CPU cycles. If you have a beast of machine, go ahead and leave it on. That's good, that's good. Leave that on. Precursors are fine. No invaders. I like to play with invaders on because I have a death wish, but... Star Swarm, I'm not a fan of, but I'll leave on for this game. Realistic command, leave that on. Political bonuses, I'll put that on so we get a bit of corruption. Inexperienced fleet penalties, I'm going to take that off just to keep the game simple. Just so you don't have to train your squadrons. Maintenance I like. That I like. That I like. New Tech and Conquest. Leave that. One player race. Uh, minimum. Okay. Zero is random. I always like to do five or six. Just so you don't get stuck in the Sol system. It does make the system harder to defend. But. Okay. Mineral deposits on Earth. Uh, 100 is normal. Some people will take this up to like 120. Just so they don't run out of stuff. And do we want to add the 10th planet to the solar system? I don't think we do. Not in this one. So we'll go ahead and create game here. Okay, player race. We are the... Witches of Terra. Which... Which is... I think... Spelling is important. PC human systems. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna keep it uh, to usually the what I usually do. System United States class name. Just keep it. I want ships that are I I can pronounce. So you can have a lot of fun if you if you do. And I can't find anything. I can't find it. Class team, that's what it is. That's what I'm looking for. There we are. Class team. Rank theme, just go American. Game, keep it simple. Name theme, uh, goes English for now. Do it to a conventional empire, which is the point of this. Look how that surveyed. All of that looks good to me. So we're starting with four, 800 uh, conventional factories, 500 population, 8 research facilities, which is fine. Go ahead and we'll create the race. If I, I know I would that, would that through that pretty fast, so but you can always go back and look if you don't if you didn't catch it. And there we are. Okay, this is the Sol system. 
Notice there's all these little asteroids in that. So again, if you're a, like an actual space nerd or a NASA nerd, you're gonna you're gonna love this game. Okay, first thing we do, go over here to uh, you know, events on, so that we get this in the, on the. We're gonna be turning that off and on during the game. So asteroids, I like to take off right away, so it it clears up some of the clutter. Survey locations, uh, just leave that on for now. Okay, orbital path, orbital path, moons, surveyed bodies. I'll take that off for now. Might want to turn that off and on. Okay, that looks good to me. Zoom in a little. I'm scrolling up and down on my mouse wheel. That's how I do it. I don't know how you do it in your game. Some people have different setups. Okay, let's check the here. Anything is enough. I just want to move this up slightly. We'll be changing the colors later. First thing we want to do is we want to get a governor for Earth. So, what the guy with the highest population growth? 10% there. Very good guy. Population 5. It looks like we're going to make him governor of the Earth for now. Um, assign. Staff officer. You don't have to do this right away, but I want to do this to enable admin commands. Go ahead and just assign him. Automate assignments as soon as you it might as well. Let's go over to our production window here. Check our summary here. This is all the stuff we have. See, I have our governor there. So we've got 800 conventional industry, five maintenance, one military academy, one spaceport. So the first thing we want to do here is probably just get one more military academy start up. Over to mining, we'll check our resources here. Do have a nice load of corundium? That's good. A little low on iridium, which is for sensors. Everything else, we got. This is a good mineral roll here. We're going to do very nice. Shipyards, naval. Okay, we want to expand this one. We don't want to expand it slowly. That's our naval shipyard, and we want to do want to expand our uh, commercial shipyard. Might as, well get, might as well get these going now. Research is the most important thing right now. So we need to go construction. And Trans Newtonian Technology. We do have a construction guy. So I'm going to go ahead and... Because this unlocks all the all the cool Trans Newtonian stuff. There's little st things you can do here and there if you wanted to. Uh, do we have a po power and production guy? No, we don't. So we'll just, we'll just put everything into getting that uh, unlocked. Take about three years. That should be good. And everything looks good to me. Okay, I'm not a big fan of the auto of the auto turns, but I will turn it on for now. I'll just do five day turns, let everything move around. If anything important happens, it'll stop. The game will stop. Kind of watch the planets over orbit. Shipyards modified. So that's important enough to stop the game. Okay, this game we this uh, we want to go up to about six thousand for this and five fifty thousand for this at the start. This is this is just how I do it. Man, keep going. Oh, one more thing before I f I almost forgot. Here we got our. Main focus right now, we need to colonize Luna, colonize Mars, and find an early game source of Corundium. This is our main focus. I'll walk through the side, the, the steps to that as I go along. Okay, commercial shipyard is done. Go ahead, we'll put that up. You want about 50,000 for your first freighter. Military Academy is almost done. We are about halfway done Trans-Newtonian. Don't even worry about ground force at this point in the game. Okay, shipyards. We uh, go ahead again. One turn there. About just under a year there. That'll and just under a year there. Go ahead, keep going. Two thousand tons. Shipyard. Okay, we want to go up to six thousand here. 
That'll get that. That'll get that done. Checker mining. Everything looks good. Industry fuel is good. Okay, keep going. Production military academy done. Okay. I'm gonna. I'm gonna put one research facility just for now. It won't get finished, but I just want to get part of it done. Yeah, it's gonna be almost done right there. Tons. Shipyards. Okay, I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna add a slip weight to it, so it'll it can build two ships at a time. Let's take a while. It'll take about three years, but we might as well get it done. Transitory. Here we are. Okay. Um, do we have a propulsion guy? Yes, we do. Okay. First things first. We need to get. We need to get uh, two levels of engine. I think is is the bare minimum. Take that off. On that. Ground construction sensor. Okay. We got geo survey ship. Grab that. So, to work to our goals here. Short-term goals. Geo survey ship. Nuclear pulse engines, which I believe is level two. Basic colony ship, which might be the only one we build all game. You already you really only need to build one government colony ship, and after that the civilians can take over. Basic. Basic one system design. Uh, medium term goals. Our construction factories. That should be good. That's good enough. We'll do that. You what? Yeah. If you if you if you can remember, try to take, try to take notes when you're playing the game, just so just in case it's like two month two weeks between game sessions. So we'll go, this is a good setup for now. We really want to get the engine set up before we do anything. Okay. Construction here. Uh, I'm going to drop all this. Just pause that. We have 800 convertible. Uh, conventional industry. So what I want to do is I want to convert 400 to create. Ordinance. We don't really need that much right away, but I just want to get it out of the way. So we are over 800. We're converting 400 to construction, 300 to mining, 50 to fuel, 50 to ordinance. Oh, you can also convert them. You can also convert to financial centers in the new game. Okay. We'll get power for all of that, and then we'll re reconsider. We'll just want to convert our industry first. Actually, I'm going to put that on the. Uh, List goals because it is that important. Now 
nor to transitory and industry. I think that's good enough. We're just going to keep going. Research complete pressurized reactor. Power and propulsion. That next one is the nuclear thermal engine, which is level one, I think. That would mean that would mean nuclear pulse is level three. You oh, you definitely want to rush engines early game. Gives you so many options. Shipyards. Okay, I'm gonna add a ship at a slipway there. Check our industry here. We see how we are converting. Check our research. Write a lot of survey. Okay. Let's keep going. Nuclear thermal engine. So we could, if we wanted to rush, we could build a a um, ship right away. I'm going to take the fuel efficiency here, so ships will use less fuel. I'm just going to pull off one scientist and go into defensive systems, just so we get better armor and makes our ships lighter and faster. So, do that. Check our industry here. Looks good to me. Continue going. Fuel consumption. Power and propulsion. We want next level of reactor, which is that. Keep going. Research complete. Actually, what I'm going to do, go over here, back on crawler. I'm going to put this as red because it's important. So it'll show up like that for the entire rest of the game. There's also ways to do a preset of that. Okay, so defensive systems. Let's grab the next level of armor. Check our industry here. Mining is looking really good. Improved reactor. Power propulsion. Let's grab that nuclear engine. That gives us level that'll give us level two engines. Added. I'm going to grab, just make it a bit larger. Um, I would really like to max out uh, civilian shipyards at 180,000. Let's you build a bit, let's you build what I call super freighters, very flexible ships. But it does, it, it does um, take up a lot of manpower and a lot of, a lot of space. So sometimes you might just want to go with a lot of, uh, five smaller ships. So I'm gonna I'll teach you how to do both. There's no two people play Aora 4X the same way. That's what makes this game such fa so fascinating. Okay, that's good. That's good. Okay, let's go ahead and continue. Geological survey. Uh, let's just build survey ships. Uh, let's do logistics. Let's get the fuel storage large. Just makes things a bit simpler. Put that in. Take a couple years, whatever. Let's get that out of the way. Conversions looking decent. Continue. Uh, general technology. Get that fuel efficiency. That's the next level of armor. 
Let's go to defensive. Let's grab the Geranium, which is the first Trans-Newtonian one. Definitely does make a difference, so it's worth grabbing early on. Especially since, especially since we're only using one scientist on it. Shipyards. I'm going to leave that for now. I'm not going not gonna to spend the effort. Available workers are 91%. 91 million. That's very good. We have 100 construction facilities already. So Let's continue. Shipyard modified. 70,000 does give us some options, and I do want to build this up, so we'll go ahead and do that. That's our fuel efficiency. Next engine is the pebble bed reactor. Pop that in. Just leave that for... Oh, don't worry about checking up the pebble bed reactor. It is nuclear pulse engine. There it is. There's our, there's our toy. Duranium armor. Okay, I'm gonna grab just gonna grab active sensors now. So we have that option. We get get that out of the way, keep training our sci our scientists. Not as efficient as possible, but don't wanna have be completely focused on your objectives here. Okay. Production to that. Okay, I'm going to switch. Get a 10% production. I'm going to put this over to. Uh, put the research facility back into production. Just get something working on that. Can always turn it off. Nuclear engine technology. Okay, so. Done. Okay, so we need to design an engine. I want to just do a basic um, civilian engine. So 50% power makes it a civilian engine. Anything under 50% is a power is, and needs to be at least size 25, 25 to be a civilian engine. So this is just the basic. Basic nuclear pulse engine. Just call it an Orion because so there's our engine, it's designed. Create that for a blueprint. Go into our research here. And just grab that. So that'll be done right away. Might even wait for the fuel st the fuel storage large before I build the ship, but just get that out of the way. There we are. Okay. Now, do I have a construction production guy? I do. So the first thing we're gonna do we're gonna grab research rate. It'll speed up everything right now, but let's give us a bit of a pause while we um, decide whether or not to push engines quicker, harder. Okay. We want iron engines before we leave the system. We don't need don't need them right away. So we want to wait until we have fuel storage large before we uh, build, before we design the ships. The first ship, anyway. Fuel storage large. There it is. Let's go back to logistics. We're going to want cryo tra that's for colonish cryo tra cryogenic transport. Go ahead and pop that in. Let's 
go over to ship designs, which I think is this one here. No, ship design right there. Okay, first we want is the GL survey ship. New ship class, Essex class. This one is very simple. We want two engines, two geological survey sensors. Take the deployment time to 36 months. You can go longer, but this is what I think is pretty much what we need. And we need to get the maintenance up to about three. So we need to put engineering in there. That should be plenty. That's plenty there. Okay, uh, I'm going to add one one right one maintenance storage bay. That should be yeah. So this is not this ship is not going to have any kind of maintenance problems. So. That looks good to me, so we'll go ahead and we'll punch that in. Next we need a new ship class, Lexington. This is going to be a freighter. Okay, cargo hold. One cargo hold. You, you, do, you do need a cargo shuttle, shuttle bay to transfer stuff between ships. Ground. We want about 800. That's perfect there. We need to add some fuel. I like to go about... Don't need a f that much fuel on this ship. Well, let's. we don't know how, f how long we're going to keep playing this, this this ship. So this looks good to me. It's, uh, 35,000 tons, fairly fast. Could go conscript crew. Yeah, we'll go, go ahead and do conscript crew so you don't use up experienced ships. That's, this looks good to me. This will get us started in the game. So Those are our two ships, Essex and Lexington. Over to shipyards. Your first conversion is three. Three tool for the Essex set activity. Construction, we want it in the shipyard. Default fleet. And create tasks. It'll show up in the shipyard task here. Go down to your commercial one. No. Retool for the Lexington class. Select that. Gain okay, shipyard fleet, default. And we want two Lexingtons, so we'll go ahead and build two of them. We might I might do the uh, convoy of five, depending how how things look. Okay, research is good, that's good. Shipyard task is March. We get the Essex, or we get the freighters first. So. Okay, let's keep going. There's our active sensors. Go ahead. We'll just grab another another level of sensors. I like to I like to grab sensors as much as I can. Put start, put upgrade the thermals. Never know. Okay. Check our industry here. There's our Lexingtons. Okay. We'll go ahead and we'll. Ship our fleet. We don't have anything for them to do right now. I'm just going to leave it there. Uh, yeah, there. And then you can see them on the, on the board there. Do I want to grab... I'm tempted to build two more. I don't think I need it this, at this early in the game. Let's go over to our goals. which I believe is level 5. We want that before we leave the system. Okay. Raider basic, that's... It's done.
There's the Essex. Detach it. Okay, so this is our survey ship. Uh, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go to um, Noons. I want to check uh, Survey Luna. Survey Mars. Get these two. Get these two done first. After that, we'll just kind of play it around. Zoom in a little here. Uh, we'll do three-hour turns. And it flies over to Mars. Okay, did we get anything on? The, we found nothing on other on other planet. Okay, um, we're still gonna colonize them because you always colonize uh, Luna and Mars. So go over to the uh, system display here. We want to grab. I just want to set up a colony, create a colony, create a colony. So very disappointed that we didn't find anything. Oh wait, we do have we do have stuff on the on the moon. Boronite and Sorium. So that's a fairly minor col mining colony. Okay, let's go ahead. We'll set up. So we can help out help plan our colony out here. Okay. Now we could order the ethics around, but the best thing to do would be go to standing orders. Survey nearest five system bodies. Fuel less than forty seven, return to colony. Deployment exceeded, it would just Yesterday fuel. Just this is just a basic um, survey setup. So now, if we click three hours, it'll just go just tool around the solar system, uh, searching for stuff. So it's checking all the asteroids, checking the comets. Production. Okay. Construction facilities are converted. Construction, we want another 600 of those. And we need to start building some infrastructure. Don't have to build that much early game, but... Let's get that out of the way. We can start moving that between colonies. Start prepositioning stuff. Cryogenic transport is too much away. I'm going to pull one scientist off research, put them on the cryogenic, just so that's faster. That's so we can get our colony ship going. I'm going to leave that. I'm not going to build more freighters. It's very tempting to build freighters, but I don't want to spend too much. You know, there's a lot of asteroids, so Essex is kind of going nuts. I just want to check if I put enough fuel on the ship. Essex. Oh, um, 
Could have put more fuel. I'd like to do. I like to do. Uh, that's plenty of fuel anyway. Little mistake on my part, but it doesn't really matter. Okay, how much infrastructure do we have built? We got thirty. So I'm going to grab one of the Lexingtons. Move in orders. These can carry ten units of uh, inf of infrastructure or one one small facil normal facility. So grab that. Unload installation. Refuel. Repeat orders twice. So it happened those three times. I'll just zoom in a little on the moon. See the moon there. Uh, one hour turn. It'll load up. Load up on Earth and dump dump the infrastructure on the moon. And Earth orbit it away. Every five days there's they adjust the orbit. So And something's up with the Essex. What's going on? Okay, just gonna have it refuel it. Or if that should fix the should fix the glitch. Oh, okay. That's that got that got got clicked off. Why is the Essex not moving? There it is, it's moving. Okay. A little strange there. Okay. 11 infrastructure. So we have 30 infrastructure on the moon. We can contain a population of 150 million, 150,000. 150, Check our research here. About a year and a half, a little over a year if we get cryogenics, then we can start retooling for the. Uh, commercial ship, or the uh, colony ship. Starting to build our construction factories. Let's keep going. Everything looks good. Very disappointing not to find anything on 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 Mars, though. But sometimes you can even find um, alien ruins there. Conversion to mines. We wanted 200 mines, so 200 mines. I'm gonna take the other five, and I'm gonna make start working on 10 mass drivers. These will help you. These will help move minerals around the system. I'm actually gonna set up a cascade, which is a fairly advanced thing, but. It's uh, it's fun to do in the, in the home system at least. Sometimes I'll do it in even uh, even do it in other systems. So as soon as that is converted, we have two infrastructure. I'm going to move twenty. Oh nope, 
Okay, re remove all. That was a misclick there. Always be careful when you're, when you're clicking things on this game. Don't don't rush. I know I'm rushing. That's because I play the game so much that everything's everything's ex in instinct in instinctive. So two trips to Mars to drop off infrastructure, just pre-positioning supplies for the colony. And go ahead. Looks like the SXA is back on target. And rocket in the asteroid belt. Collection the one on the second trip. Okay. Let's just keep going. Nothing to, nothing to get excited about. Venus is surveyed. Check that out when it seems, it pa seems like a pause. Essex is already in the other system. Heading off to Saturn. See if there's anything on Titan. Going back to asteroid. Looks like it's hitting the Trojans. Surveying Uranus now. Checking Pluto. And another dwarf planet out there. Production at Earth. The ordnance factory is done. Going to drop the other five percent into the research lab. Get that going. So let's go over here. That's done. Project transport is almost done.
Let's actually check the... Okay, I got 100. So I'm going to grab Lexington 1, load installation infrastructure uh, back on Earth, load infrastructure from Earth. Okay, that's a Earth fuel. So we'll do that. Do five trips. Do four. Go over to Lexington and load installation structure like that. We want to do five trips to Mars. Looks good to me. So we're going to do that. Just so the ships are actually doing something. Sure to complete trialgenic transport. Okay, what do we need next? I might want to grab next level of armor. No, we need to get we need to get uh starting work start working our um next engines. Do we? Do we really need to do that? Yeah, let's just pop pop that one straight into. Let's, go, let's grab logistics again. Keep that going. Need a no oh, troop transfer is what we need. It's in ground combat. Let's just go ahead and grab. I don't need two people in it. Put one in there and. What are entry weapons? We'll just grab the first level of carronade. We don't have a specialist, so we're just going to grab the biology guy. Just so we can get that out of the way. So it's like the weakest, cheapest weapon in the game, but it's enough to really... Just for police work on that. Okay. Cryogenic transport. We need a colony ship. The Spruance class colony ship. I don't know if you need a cargo shuttle bay. I just always put one in just to be safe. We want fifty thousand should be good. Let's make it a double size one just to make, just for the uh, a second cargo shuttle bay. We want a bit of speed in this thing. That should be plenty. Fuel storage. We want. That should be plenty. 40,000 tons. Doesn't have anything special here. Just go ahead and do conscript. This is good enough. This is just our starter colony ship. Be a little expensive, but it'll get the job done. Go ahead and lock that design. We go over to our shipyards, and we actually have to retool the um, freighters for this. And that's going to take over a year and a half just to retool the shipyard and about two years to build the ship so it's gonna be a much slower thing than so we're gonna get enough get our stuff uh, pre-position supplied anyway um, next thing one is complete orders Lexington 2 has completed orders. Check the... No minerals on Venus, no minerals on Mercury. That's pretty bad. Did find something on Io, so we'll add that. Callisto. Very, very poor. Uh, we'll add that anyway, just for having the system. Atlas, nothing. Very poor geranium. We'll just add it on that. Not gonna, probably not gonna expand onto that. This is a very poor, very poor roll right now. Nothing in the in the. Okay, 
Okay. This is a very poor system here. Okay, uh, where are we? This is the mineral survey. I wanted to show you how to do this. Uh, corundium, we just want to have 100,000. Just uh, search that. Anything we find, put a colony on that, col that comet and that comet. Just looking over here. So we are very, very low on corundium in this system. So that is a... Uh, we do need to go interstellar fairly quickly. That's several episodes away. And again, I want to have iron engines before I do that. Essex yeah, is coming back to refuel. There's a research rate. That'll speed up our entire everything in the research. So and I'm going to put this straight into the next level of engines. Put all five guys into that. That'll take a what, three, four years to get a level four engines. But industry, that looks good. That looks good. Mounting. We are a little on the danger zone here. We are building so much stuff. And I'm going to put in a break here, so let's look over what we've accomplished here. We haven't got a lot done. We definitely did not find an early game source of Corundium. That's definitely a fail. Um, once we get people on Lunar Mart, that's going to be right away. Um, short term goals, we're done. Done with engine, done with that. So, medium term goals, we're looking good there. So, again, overall, yeah, we didn't get a lot done. We did get, we, did, we have set ourselves up for success. So, anyway, Wolfman out, um, and I'll see you guys around.